Hi everyone, I am Hosanna David. Welcome to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. All of us Christians, we pray to God and believe in God and we know and continue to expect God to remain faithful. We know He's faithful and we continue to pray to Him that He should continue to be faithful to us. The question is, have we not heard that what you want others to do for you, do it for others too? If we want God to be faithful to us, the question is, how many of us are faithful to God? God will always be faithful. We know that, but there are times that He turns His back on us. Why? Because we, when we become unfaithful, God is displeased. God is uh, is is a God that has emotions. God can can be angry. He can be happy. God can be uh, thrilled with goodness. Uh, when God smelled the sacrifice of Noah, God was thrilled in his heart. When he smelled it, he he, he felt good about man, and he, he was. Have moved to make a promise that he will never destroy the world again. God has emotions. Uh, when Solomon uh, offered thousands of burnt offerings, God was pleased with him and God was moved to ask him, ask me anything, anything, I'm going to do it for you. God has emotions. If we feel that God should be faithful to us, if we want God to be faithful to us, let us also know that we are dealing with a God that has emotions and He demands faithfulness from us too. Let's not forget that it is only those who refuse to give up on their faithfulness to God that are going to make it in the rapture and make it to heaven. The Lord is expecting us. It's not that God doesn't know that we don't have problems. He knows that we have enough problems. And He is always with us. Funny enough, the closer, uh, the, the, the fiercer the troubles, the closer God is to us. Always. He's always with us. So when we feel that Oh, I'm alone. I'm passing through this problem alone. Let us also remember that he said, when you pass through the fire, I'm going to be with you. When you pass through the waters, I am going to be with you. There is no time that God does not be with us. In fact, the most dangerous times, God is nearest to us. Let's be faithful to him. He's, he's been always faithful to us. Let's remember that so long as we believe in God and want Him to be faithful to us, God also wants us, so long as we remain His children, He demands faithfulness from us. Don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. He asked the question, when the Son of Man returns to the world, is He going to find faith on earth? That's a question that you and I need to answer, not with the word of our mouth, not with just mere words, but with action. How? By continue, but by continuing to say, no, I will not give up on God. My faith should remain in Him all the time. Carry the presence of the Lord wherever you go. Abide in Him. See Him as a partner that is with you. And that is who He is, the Holy Spirit partners with us he lives inside of us so that whenever satan pushes you to do evil feel his presence and tell him that god is here with me i can do it how many of us can cheat on our wives how many of us can cheat on our husbands when they are with us let us feel the presence of god and remain faithful to him Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video. Visit our website, eagleeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. Share this video. Bye.